Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and we are back to the our panels and how to create it. Uh, actually I did already a lot of the different type of the panels but today I really like this type of the panels. This house is called the Brodsky house. So and as you can see it seems the simple but if we uh, gonna look on them and if we will just try to image how we can create it and then derive it, it's already not quite simple as you can think. Anyway, anyway, uh, these panels you can create um, with the different types. So you you have the, a lot of way how you can do that. But I did by my own way. Yes, I used adaptive panels. And as you can see, here we have the panels and uh, I can immediately change any panels. For example, here I have the one panel, here I can immediately change it. Uh, to the another type of the panel. So uh, the what the nice thing? Uh, actually, we he have here only the four types of the panel: the left and right, uh, the double sides, and just uh, just flat panel. That's it. So and all these type the panels we will create in this tutorial. So if you are ready, this is, will be really long tutorial because I will show you how to create all of that type these panels. If you are ready for this tutorial, let's get started. As always, I will start from the zero, so this is blank project and let's create first of all, now uh, we need the conceptual mess. Uh, let me will create it and let's open it. If you will see this picture, we already have the size of the panel. Let's say this is uh, the size of our panel and we will use the some of them, uh, some of the standard and the dimensions of our panel. So we not will uh, create what we already have. For that one, I will create the, the line. Let's say the line will be 36 meter like this. And height of that will be, I don't know, let's say it also will be, maybe it will be 30 meter. Why not? Like this. Okay, so what we're gonna do next? Next, uh, of course, we should divide it by surface. And as you can see, we get our network. Let me, I will change uh, straight away the network to the rectangular one because we will use the rectangular one. And after that, we will change the fixed number to the fixed distance. It will be fixed distance because our panel will be have the fixed distance. I know it will make it on the 100% um, adaptive one because the panels have the size. So why we should create something what we will use the uh, with the standard size. So the height of that will be 6 meters because if you will see here it's around the 6 meters maybe it's 5 meters I don't know I will choose the 6 meter and the thickness of that it's the half as you can see here is the panel let's say this is it's uh, mm, this door is 900 millimeter so and uh, let's say the panel will be I don't know 2500 millimeter even let's say 2600 millimeter so and as you can see we get the panel and some extra space for the half part of the door because my panel will be exactly on from this line to this line and from this line and to the to the uh, you cannot see it okay from this line to this line as you can see so this will be my panel like that and the same thing will be here so okay so we are ready to start so we have already uh, prepared our project and we should create the first of our panel first the panel which we will create it will be flat one i mean the this one okay so what we need go to the file go to the new and after the, the, that go to the family and we need uh we need pattern based family okay so we get um, our network, but the thing, uh, the size of our network uh, should be the same. Uh, actually, it's not so matter. It's not so. Uh, you can leave it as it is, but uh, it's better if the size of your network will be the same because it will be more understandable for you. It will be more visualized. Mm, you can work like that. It will be working, but sometimes uh, it's not will be. Uh, so so straight let's say 
Uh, what do you think? What the first thing? Let me will select this uh, network and we will change the dimension. As you can see, dimension of this network it's not the same as we did here uh, in in this uh, our uh, let's say test project with the wall. And the first thing, if you will select your network, uh, let's say let's see here the horizontal space and vertical space be careful because if you will say like we did before 6000 meter and you will see the thing like that one so 6000 i mean 6000 and you will see the thing like that one because it's rotated uh yeah if you read it uh, horizontal it means a horizontal one so it means here should be 2600 and vertical one 6000 millimeters so it's simple but just be careful when you will uh, check your sizes because you can for example create your panels all the way with the rotated so it will be mistake Okay, done. Uh, we already written to create the right size. And what the next? Next, we need the points. Uh, first of all, uh, I will put the, some points here. Let me will do that. We need actually uh, how many points we need? We need two points on the corner and actually two extra points here. You will see later on why. I will do the chamfer if you will see this uh, picture right now here we have something like a chamfer actually i don't have the uh, some drawings of that so i don't have any blueprints of this building and i will do everything what i can see on this picture so i mean if i think like it's chamfer i will try to do that okay so uh the first thing we need to create, uh, we should select uh, these points. Let's select all four these points. And we will change show reference point to the always. And uncheck show normal, uh, show nor normal uh, work uh, workspace. And you will see all the works, uh, work planes right here. Uh, now we should create the parameters. Let's select, again, let's select all these four points. And we will change only the one thing, as you can see here, the measurement. Measurement, I want to uh, use the real numbers. So like 500 millimeters, 1000 millimeters, instead like 0 0.1 or 0 0.9. So uh, because the 0 0.1 is just part of the segment, it's different. It can be different the length than if you will use the segment. And that's it. Now, if you will select one of this point, you can see directly millimeters of this point. And let's see, here is, will be 4,400 uh, millimeter, for example. And this one, it also should be 400 millimeter, but it's not. Here is 2,000. Why? Because measure, measure, measurement starting from the beginning. Beginning it's here. I, I just uh, calculating how much we have. We have here the 2,800 minus this one and we will get something okay so let's make end and as you can see here is 400 millimeter let's change it let's do the same thing here here it will be 500 millimeter let's select this one again the same story let's change the direction and let's say it's 500 millimeter so now we need to create two extra parameters which is will help us uh, to uh, to extrude this one so before we will create the parameters let's go to the reference let's select the point after that set we will use a lot of the times today's set point uh, let's use the top key select the that uh, work plane and place point say okay and let's do this four times like one and here we'll do the same thing Top key, place point, okay. And again, set, top key, place point, and say okay. So now we should select the point which is we created here and let's extrude it. And uh, let's maybe we'll do all this point a bit. I will extrude it. I will show you the one thing more. Um, here the point, extrude it. Where is the point? 
point and extrude it. And as you can see, all the points have the negative number. Actually, it's not so good for us because I don't want to use any negative numbers when uh, we will manipulate in the formula. What we can do? Uh, we can select all these points, for example, and uh, we can flip it and mirror it. And what's happened? If now you will select these two, for example, this one point, and you will place it on the, just not exactly, but in the same position, now you will get positive number. So this is what we want. Let You should select the host point. This is a host point. And mirror and flip it. And now one by one, again, place it somewhere here. And now you can see this is positive number. This is what we want. And now we need to create the first parameter. Let's select, uh, for example, this point. And uh, we offset, place here, create the new parameter. And this one will be offset, offset, point one. This is, will be point one. Say OK. Let's say OK. This point, it also will be point one. Let me replace it, point one. OK, now let's select another point. Again, create the new parameter. This is, will be point two. Let's say OK. Let's say OK. And here, the same thing. We already will choose the point two. Uh, this point will be number three. Here is the offset. Let's select it, create a new parameter, point 3. Actually, we know it will have a lot of the numbers, so no worries. Uh, we will use uh, um, three point parameters, that's it. And point number 3. Now, and now let's select this point. And this is, will be main offset, or just call it offset. I will call it main offset. Let's say OK, and this one will be also main offset 2. OK, we did it. So what we're going to do next? Next, we will go to the parameters. The main offset, it will be a uh, variable. It, you will uh, play around with this number. Um, the point 1, I want to make it 400 millimeter. Let's apply it. Uh, we need two extra parameters, thickness. Thickness of our panel. So let's place it here. So first will be thickness. Let's say thickness will be 400 millimeter, uh, 450 millimeter to see better changes. Uh, after that, uh, we will get uh, the our main parameter offset, and we need one more extra parameter, chamfer. So we will be have only three parameters, which is we will manipulate. Let's say chamfer will be only 50 millimeter. So what do we will do next? Next, uh, my thickness will be equal to the point one, like that. Um, for the point two, such as this one, it will be thickness mm, minus chamfer, minus chamfer. And as you can see, it's already 400 millimeter. And the point number two, two it will be mm, main offset plus, mm, let me, I will do like that, main offset plus chamfer, like this. Let's apply it, and we get like that. So what I did, actually, I did chamfer, actually, <laughs> because if you will change, for example, the chamfer, uh, your distance everywhere will be changed, for example, 100 millimeter. And as you can see, it's changing. And right now, it's really hard to understand. Just believe it, it will be work. Uh, later on, when we will create geometry, you will see e oh, without any uh, imagination. So you will see it on the, your screen. So right now, just follow me. Believe me, it will be work. So we finish this part. Now we should do the same thing on the other side. Uh, I will I will try to again comment everything what I did. If you uh, if you are lazy or if you already did it, sorry, you're not lazy. If you already did it, just skip this part because uh, I will just say everything what I already uh, already say. 
uh, let's select again all these points I will change it to the always uh, and check the no show the uh, normal references we did it after that what we need we need to create the points reference points set uh, select the uh, work plane place the point say okay and again work plane place the point okay and two more times uh, one more time as you can see I'm already doing this really fast uh, after that select the points let's select two points in one time with the hold the control key and this is will be uh, point number two and as you can see it's going to here in the right position select the point select the point with the point and this is parameter will be point number one the point number one is the highest one it's better to understand like that let's select this uh, corner points and these points will be have the parameter oh sorry cost parameter oh yeah uh, we should change the to the segment and now we will be able to use the other parameters this is point number three say okay and here is the problem Control z why because we have here the mm, here have i think beginning and here it should be no here is beginning and here is i think it should be end let's check it out this parameter too before we will apply the parameters here it's also end and here we also should change to the segment and here is the other thing right so to this point and parameter it will be offset for parameter number three let's select these two points uh, if you're really afraid uh, to do mistake do it one by one not doing like two points like i did and this will be main offset and as you can see everything working so we did this part now we are ready to create geometry and now it's actually the much interesting part uh, so we should create geometry how we can do that for that one, just be careful, please. Mm, follow me, use the uh, speed like 0 0.5 or I don't know, just I will try to explain everything what I'm doing. Go to the reference, use the uh, line and after that, don't forget 3D snapping. And now you should be careful which uh, the point you are, uh, for example, choosing. For example, you should choose this point and after that, that point this point, this point, this point, this point, and again first one. And the same thing we should do the, on the other side. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and end. And escape couple of the times and after that select this profile be careful uh, you should use the all the profiles as you can see I mean the all the lines if you not will use all the lines uh, it, it's impossible to create geometry uh, okay and after that the same thing here uh, hold the control key and uh, select this profile if you are impossible to, for example, select all the profile just in one time, you what you can do. For example, here is everything working, here not. Uh, use the tab key, control, tab key, control. Yes, one by one. And again, and again, and again. So, once you will did it, go to the create the form, and the form will be here. As you can see, we, did, we created the form. And now your question why we did for example the chamfer but why it's like that because if i will go to the chamfer and i will say here the 50 as you can see we get here the 50 millimeter because this point changing the position uh behind this and uh, it this point it's following it and as you can see we get here the 50 millimeters so it's working like that 75 millimeter and here is the chamfer 75 millimeter you can do i don't know even 250 millimeter and as you can see you get much more so i prefer to use the 100 millimeter let's use it let's apply it and uh, finally uh, we finished our flat panel let's save it let's save it first let's save it family i will save it here uh, flat panel oh russian 
flat panel, save it. Now we will use uh, this panel to create another type of the panel. Uh, we will create the, this one, curve one, this one. Now we need to resave again this family uh, because we want to show it's not will replace, for example, our previous one. And let's call it arc, arc panel. Let's save it. And what we will do next? Next, we will delete this form. We don't need it. Uh, and also, what's going on? Uh, also, we need all these things on the top side. Uh, we need only these two points. If it will be del 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 deleted, just recreate it. So what we're going to do next? Next, we need... Let's uh, connect our points, but we need two more extra points. Let's place it one and place it two. And again, we need to create parameter for that. Be careful, segment. Uh, the number is wrong. Uh, let's change it. And it's point number three. And the same thing. Oh, where is that? Oh, yeah, everything correct. Actually, it was the point number three. Let's control. Let's use the control Z because this was point number three. Um, so what? Let's check it. Yeah, it was the point number three. It's my mistake. Let's select it again. Let's use the segment and change to the end. And this is will be main offset. And now everything correct. And let's do the same thing here. Is it? What is the parameter here? Offset number three. This is will be main offset. Let's change it and the main offset. And as you can see, we did it. So what? Why we need it? Actually, we need. Uh, let's. I will unswitch. Uh, showing it's also always the work plane to the when it's selected, because actually it doesn't matter for us for right now. We need to connect our reference lines. Again, make sure this is 3D snapping and let's connect uh, this one with this one. And let's try to connect from the left to the right side or from the right to the left. Uh, not like in the checkers. So uh, one, two, and again, one and two. Why we did it? Because we need to create this uh, this uh, shape, which is we have in the previous time on the corner, somewhere on the middle. So that's why we did it like that. We need to create now two extra par points, actually four extra points, like one, two, three, and four. And again, let's select these points. It's all it's almost the same thing like we did here, but on the middle. Uh, we need, for example, change it to the segment. We need making the to showing our reference planes always and show normal reference. And we did it. Now we should make uh, we, we should check is it uh, uh, the right direction or not. Let me will check it. Here is 2000. Here is no. We should change it to the end. Now, now it's right. And let's say this is will be 4000 millimeters. Here we should do the same thing. It will be again. Here will be end, and here it will be 4,000 millimeters. Uh, let's do the same thing here. Again, it's not 4,000. Let's change to the end, and let's say here is 4,000 millimeters. The same thing here. To the end and 4,000 millimeters. Say okay. Now I think all right. Uh, we not will manipulate with this 4000 millimeters actually. If you want, you can create the parameter, but as I said, uh, for me it's no need. I not will use this parameter 4000 millimeters, I'll leave it as it is. So now we need the uh, points which is we have here to create our chamfer. Uh, let's pl let's use the again reference point set and use this work plane again. Work plane place. Okay. Work plane, place, okay. And let's do the same thing here. So 
this work takes a lot of the time actually but once you will create these panels you just uh, will spend the seconds to create the facade so that's why it's uh, it's really matter for us let's select this point and this point will be point number two okay everything right and this point and this point point number one this is first point and everything correct just i will do one by one it's better to control everything this is point number one and this point number two let's select it and this will be point number two this point not will have any parameter as you can see because this point have the host this point and as you can see this point have already this parameter so let's uh, draw our um, our profile again as we did it in the previous for the previous panel like one by one be careful and connect to the point and let's check it how it's work go to the parameters and let's say the main offset 500 millimeter apply is it everything working everything working the chamfer 250 millimeter working working so let's let me back so we did it now we need create the mm, create our arc as you can see because we now finish our panel some way here now we need create arc on this side and after that we should continue it how we can do that uh, again you can create your own way uh, maybe you can use for example the geometry I mean the formula some uh, but I will use some tricky way um, I know wanna calculate how how much is that and I will place for example here the point this point again will be have the same thing it will be showing the always as uh, normals and these points also will be have the segments uh, showing us segments and the uh, length of the segments will be 4000 millimeter exactly same as here why we did that because now we can for example uh, reference use the end circle let's use it and let's place it exactly oh, let me I will set this work plane and after that i will select this point and i will place it like this we did this circle why uh, because this is circle will be have the distance let's select it and let me I will change here to the to the one to the ten uh, the distance of the uh, i mean the dimension radius of this uh, circle will be equal to the main offset 4000 millimeter uh, as you understand if we will change offset our circle will be also change the uh, dimension and it will be always on the same position with this point and it always will be here on this point and we will get always perfect arc so this is what i want uh, what we do next we need place the points on this arc i mean on this circle one point here some point here and that point we already have let's place this point for example on the in, let me I will change to the end and i will say this is will be 0 0.9 mm, even 0 0.487 yeah this is will be better this one should be be exactly on the one or or, or on the zero up to you we did it now we can hide this circle right click on that go to the where is that oh we can do like this hide element we don't need it uh, don't delete it we just hide it that's it so what we're gonna do next next we should should use these points again to showing us where is the reference line uh, reference planes and we should create the chamfer points let's select the point reference point set and now we need this point this reference let's say okay the same thing here this one and place the point now let's select our points let me I will do it manually first like this 
Now let's work with this point. I will select it and as you can see it's negative number. This is really terrible. Let me I will flip it and mirror it. And now if I will place it again on the same position, as you can see now everything right. Okay, so the offset will be equal to the chamfer. That's why I created uh, the not a lot of the parameters, but it's all all these parameters will be we will use on and on. This point it also have the negative number, so the host should have the flipped. Let me replace it, and there we get here the chamfer. Now let's select these two points, and these two points also should have um, visibility always and. That's it. Now we should create the four more points. Reference point set. Working plane. This one place the point. Okay. Again, set this working plane, place it. And two more times. Yeah, it's really, really patient work, but we need a result. Let's place it. Done. Now one one by one again. This point. As you can see, direction it's totally right, and this point will be number, if I'm not mistaken, point number two. Yes, as you can see, the same point, same height. This point should have number one, and I'm right. Yes, I'm right. Let's do the same thing here. As I said, you can do it. Uh, no, you can select a bunch of the points, but I really afraid if I will do some mistake. That's why I'm doing one by one. So we did it. And as you can see, here's our point. We did it. Now actually work will be go more much faster because we now should, should select here again the <laughs> working plane and first the reference after that point and after that set. Uh, again, let's do the same thing. Here it will be exactly number one. Top height. Here it will be two. Let's place it. We already finish half of the way, so just a bit patient. So we place it and now we should do the same thing what we did here. We should do the same thing here again. If you already know how to do that, do you by yourself. If you need to uh, repeat, uh, let me I'll show you again. I don't want to just skip this part because maybe you not understand clearly. Let's do one more time uh, for the left side. Again, we should go to the reference point and place the point on our network as you can see and after that you should select this point and uh, we change the our mm, normalized curve parameter to the segment length and here we will change for, for first the direction and as you can see here is the 4000 it's totally right when you change because it's 4000 if it's not 4000 change to the 4000 after that select again this point and say you want to see always the normal uh, normal reference and you will see this it's like that after that go to the reference use the circle set set the this work plane set this point and do some circle select the circle place the uh, dimension select dimension change uh, dimension parameter to the chamfer oh it's my mistake to the main offset i'm sorry after that uh, go to the reference point place one point here and one point somewhere here select these two points make sure this is points it's always showing you reference uh, working play uh, working planes select this point it's 0 0.5 eh, it's okay select this point it should be B0, 37. 87, 37, it always will be some way here. That's why I'm using this one. After that, you can select the circle and just hide it. We don't need it. Now we need extra points. Go to the reference point, set. 
set this work plane, place the point, say OK. Again, set, set this work pl plane and set plane and place the point. Set the, I uh, select the point, place it somewhere here. It's a negative number. We should change it, but before we will change it, let me I will make it the mm, chamfer parameter. And now I will flip it. It also will be working. As you can see, it automatically will change the position. Let's do the same thing here. Again, negative number, but we can now use the parameter chamfer. Chamfer is positive number. And now we will just flip our host family for host point. Let's select these two points. These two points also should be always showing us the working planes like you can see here. And now we're going to the reference point set and placing four points. One point, oh, it's my mistake as you can see again. Reference point set and again place the point. Set, place the point. It's my mistake. Place the point, exactly point on the point. If you not do like that, it's not will be following the main point. We did it. Now I will select this point and I will select this point. Uh, no, let's do it by one by one. Let's select this point. And this point will be have offset number one. Uh, actually, I really afraid. Let me I'll check it. Yeah, it's working. Offset number one. Let me I'll select this point. This point will be have the offset number one too. And this one, offset number two, uh, offset point two. And offset number uh, point two. Done. We done. Now we should create our profiles. Let's create profiles. And also let's start from this side. Uh, we need again, all the profiles should have the reference line only. Let's use the reference line. We need now arc and let's place it. One point here, the last point here and middle point will be here. Escape. Again, one point here, here, middle one. And again, here, here and middle one. And as you can see, we did it. Let's do the same thing here on the opposite side. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. We did it. Now again, reference and just the lines we will use. Just the lines. Like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's do now here. This point, this point, this point, and this point. On this side, it's already hard to understand, but I'm trying to showing you maximum. And last this point. We did it. We did it. Now, so let's create geometry. Actually, to be honest, it's not geometry, it's the, uh, actually, this is, uh, I would call it uh, surfaces, but uh, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, let's select it. Let's select this profile. And as you can see, we missed the, this profile. Control, select it. I mean the line. And let's do the same thing. Let's do one by one. As you can see, I just selecting one by one profiles. No, don't, don't miss any profile. Like one, two. Okay, so, and let's create the form. And as you can see, we create the main form. After that, we will create the form one by one. For example, we will use this profile, this profile, this profile, and this profile. I will do it by segments. As you can see, it's trying to create like that. And let's say, okay, and delete this one. And as you can see, we get the flat. Or you can create uh, from the, uh, in the first stage, you can create this flat, but I'm doing like this. Again, use the tab key to change what you want to select. Create the form, uh, click somewhere and delete. We're deleting the, uh, the thickness. 
again tab key tab key i for forgot hold the control control key control key control key create the form delete or we can delete like this and delete let's do everywhere uh, this is one of the way how you can create geometry why I like this way actually because if you next time wanna for example the calculate the surface how much the uh, area of the surface you have from this panel you can do it easily and it will be correct why correct because we are creating by surfaces actually one two three four five and create click and delete and this oh as you can see it's totally right i mean the profile let me I'll delete now <laughs> here not i'm using the tab key it will be better here to use the manual manual way and create and last one this one one two three four five and six create done we did it this long time we spending for this uh, panel but we did it and you already want to mm, want to uh, try it right so let's try it let's now um do we have here yeah uh, first, I want to actually import our um, flat panel. Let me will save it first. As you can see, arc panel, we save it. Let me will open our flat panel. Is this our flat panel? And let's load inside to the our um, mass family. Why are you using actually the first flat family? Because uh, if I will select from my pattern right now and I will change it to the flat panel, uh, it will change all the panels to the flat. Uh, the flat panels, uh, actually, it's number of the flat panels. We have the much more than the arc one. That's why uh, it will be like main family. And as you can see, we already have it. As you can see, it's already working. Let me will change to the this one and as you can see we already did it the now we need to use the our arc panels and we should uh, export it to the our project let me will export and now you buy tab key for example you can change select this panel and now you can change it to the arc panel now will be magic let's select this panel and let's change it to the arc panel and as you can see we get it it's working now we can select for example all this line for example I just holding the control key and so I change it to the arc and as you can see we get the arc if for example you create on uh, the left side corner because here I don't have it right now but you can create it actually you should delete this left side and straight connected you already can do that without me and it's really simple because much harder you already finish part and as you can see it's working like that now you can for example use the top key and the control and select all the panels what you want and now i will change it to the arc panels and here we did it uh, if you don't know how to use it in project, let me I'll create any project. For example, architecture template. Here we are. And where is the, our mass family? Let's load it inside to the project. And for example, maybe you have here the wall. Let's place it. And your wall is already here, as you can see. Let me will hide this one. I will show you how you can work with that. Mm, one second, just one second, please, because I cannot work with the without shadows. Yeah, much better. Uh, done. So, 
And how, for example, the place here inside, you will say the glazing, for example, or something else. And let me show you fast. For example, you already can see perfectly your, uh, your profiles. You can go to the wall, for example. Here, for example, your exterior glazing. You're placing your glaze here, for example, here. Or maybe better to place it on the first you will see why you will place it here now you go to the mm, 3d here is your glaze let me i will extrude it not it's not better way because we not finish here uh, i'm sorry just just give me a second like that i will go back to the 3d here is the my panel now you can go to the edit profile delete this part use these things and just create this one use the trim connect connect say okay and let's increase it and as you can see here is your panel perfect panel so what you can do next of course you can go to the edit type after that you can for example uh, apply some mullions for example like that let me I will copy it one by one one by one one by one and one by one let's say okay and as you can see here is your mullions exactly inside your panel after that of course you can do what first you can change position because it's now a bit outside and now you can array it because uh, the distance is exactly same how many have we it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Let's, let's say 11, enter, let's go to the 3D, and as you can see, 11 panels already here, as simple as that. So, we spend a lot of the time to create the panels, but now these panels really perfect working with the our geometry and you can select of course these panels you can calculate it you have the area of these panels as you can see here so if you for example want to get some uh, specific data on the first stage of your design you can already do it uh, yeah this tutorial was long uh, I spent a lot of the time to um, create and try to introduce this tutorial for you guys if you really like it don't forget share like this video and of course the comments if you want some more tutorials like this again the comment this video uh, also don't forget guys i have the my own telegram channel where i trying to share with you with the beam news so you can find the link below this video uh, if you want to learn more dynamo and revit the my tutorials also the below the video you will find the links thank you guys for watching me and see you next time